Charge lance is underutilized in RimWorld. Here's why. You would have most probably experienced the charge lance through lancers. But most of us don't use it very much. Instead, we use sniper rifles. But there's a certain role that the charge lance fulfills better than any other weapon. And that, my friend, is the assassin's role. So let me explain. So the charge lance deals the highest amount of damage per shot out of all the guns in the base game. It also has the highest projectile velocity. It has decent range, equivalent to an assault rifle. And it also has the highest armor penetration out of any other weapon in the base game. And let me tell you, this weapon is bad for close range combat. But where it really shines is during mid to long range combat. You can use this weapon to assassinate dangerous targets in the field like centipedes, lancers, pawns with good armor or rocket launchers. And in that case, it's much better than a sniper rifle and combined with its much higher damage and armor penetration makes it a much better candidate for sniping in late game when power armored enemies and swarms of centipedes start to arrive because then your sniper rifle will start to get obsolete the only advantage sniper rifle has over charge lance is its range which is quite a bit but most of the time it's not the most decisive factor considering that charge lance also has a decent range so in my opinion charge lance is a niche weapon and should replace most of your sniper rifles in the late game but you should still keep a few sniper rifles for that range advantage and also for the purpose of kiting. That's all for the video. Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing. And bye for now.